This is the first lick I ever transcribed. Later I found Hank Mobley and his crazy clear lines. This line from Sonny Rollins extends the minor chord fine to the dominant. Transcribing and learning licks from the beginning is a very important skill to learn. In this Dexter Gordon lick he just plays up the A minor chord on this F major 7. He uses the A minor 7 as an upper structure of the F major 9 and leads skillfully into the first bar of the F major 7 chord. Using the upper structures in your lines is a great way to open up your playing and not leaning on the root. You get away from the root and adding the 9 to the chord. Often you really want to get away from the root because the bass is already playing the root. When you practice your 7th arpeggios in this case, you can see these as upper structures. Playing the F major 7, but see this as a D minor 9. Playing the G minor 7, thinking E half diminished 9. When you have learned a lick, you should really start using it. Use it in any tunes where it fits the chords. For example, on this great tune, it could happen to you in the same key. Here you can add it to the bars with the F major chord. In the first bar, for example. When you add your lick to a new tune, be aware of where you're putting it. Think about the chords in the next bar. The chords in the next bar of the new tune might not be the same as in the lick. When adding the lick to a tune in another key, of course you should transpose the lick. Putting the lick in the first two bars of Take the A Train. And of course, think about these upper structures. Take the scale for a spin, the seventh chords. Get creative with the lick and try to change the rhythm a bit. And then add this to your tunes. Get these transcribed licks on my Patreon in all 12 keys. All licks ready to drag and drop right into your practice and your playing. This Hank Mobley lick is basically a C7 bebop scale going down. And then a Coltrane pattern. One, two, three, five on a B flat chord at the end. It's a G minor. You can easily transpose this lick into the F7 chord in bar five and six of the blues. A lick like this covering a full scale, I would really recommend you to take this around all 12 keys. Either around the circle of fifth, or chromatically up and down, till you have all 12 keys. I would also add this lick to the 2-5 in the blues, bar 9 and 10. Skip the D minor in the first bar and just play a G7 chord. How about a rhythm bridge? Take this lick through all the chords there. Or use a tritone substituted bridge. The A7 becomes an E flat 7, the G7 becomes a D flat 7. Download the lesson manual on Patreon with all exercises and all legs in all 12 keys. Ready to plug and play. I really love this leg by Sonny Rollins. It contains so many ways to practice and exercise music. Sonny Rollins begins a long upbeat to the D minor 7 playing a C major chord up with a chromatic note. Then he makes a chromatic approach note to that D minor going down. And encircling the G7 bar, the F, going down F major triad, adding a G, then going down the G augmented triad, and in the last bar using the E minor 7 upper structure on the C major 9, ending on the 6. To make the lick fit a 2 5 1, I skip that first upbeat. It's a great upbeat, but often it doesn't fit the changes you want to play. So learn the lick and add this to other tunes. Let's take it for a spin on Take the A Train bar 5 to 7. Or you can play it in the bridge of Take the A Train bar 7 and 8. This lick fits on It Could Happen to You bar 15 and 16. Change the key to F major. You can also fit it into bar 29 and 30. To really get licks under your fingers, add it to as many tunes as you possibly can. Move that great arpeggio line down the major scale. And take that dominant lick chromatically round all 12 keys. In the Patreon manual, there's a lot more ways to practice these. When you break up this lick, you can add the different parts to other tunes. In this blues, I added the dominant lick to almost all the bars. And of course you can add the dominant lick to the rhythm change bridge.
By analyzing, practicing and pulling your legs apart, you get much more inside knowledge on how to practice these and how to play these and how to add these to your music. Helping you to get a head start on this, I have added all these legs and much more legs into the Patreon manual. Of course, all the legs and exercises are transposed into all 12 keys. Take a step closer to real jazz and check out these two videos on how to get more transcribed licks. Play music, have fun.